Hi everyone, in this talk, I will present the paper, When and How Does Known Class Help Discover Unknown Ones? Provable Understandings Through Spectral Analysis. This work studies the novel class discovery problem. In NCD, we aim to cluster similar samples in an unlabeled dataset from novel classes by using prior knowledge from the labeled data from known classes. For example, we aim to discover mushroom species given the prior knowledge from the labeled data. However, the resulting novel clusters may be different, depending on the type of known class provided in the labeled data. In one scenario, the novel class, red mushroom, can be discovered, provided with the known class, strawberry of a shared color feature. Alternatively, the mushroom with umbrella-shaped class can also emerge by grouping the bottom two images together if the umbrella-shaped images are given as a known class to the learner. Obviously, a formalized understanding of this intricate phenomenon is needed. This motivates our research in this talk. The research question is, when and how does the known class help discover novel classes? In recent years, despite the empirical success, there is a limited theoretical understanding and formalization for the novel class discovery problem. Our work thus fill in the critical blank. Now let me introduce how we analyze this problem. We perform analysis on a semantic graph where all the nodes are all labeled and unlabeled images and the weight of the edges measures the semantic connection strength between two images. In the augmentation graph, semantic connection can be measured by the probability of two images considered as positive pairs. In the NCD setup with both labeled and unlabeled samples, the positive pairs come from two cases. In the unsupervised case, two images are augmented from the any unlabeled image. In the supervised case, two images are augmented from two labeled samples from the same class. Such an augmentation graph can be learned by contrastive learning which pulls close the embeddings of positive pairs and pushes away the negative pairs. Specifically, we can derive our contrastive loss, NSCL, by factorizing the adjacency matrix of the augmentation graph. Due to the time limitation, we provide more details in the paper. The exciting aspect of this algorithm is that we can theoretically show the equivalence between the learned feature embeddings and the projection on the top KSVD components of the normalized adjacency matrix. Which is good. We can now analyze the feature space with spectral analysis. Now let me introduce the theory. We start with a toy example with 3D shapes. In this toy example, we consider unlabeled data with red sphere, red cube, blue sphere, and blue cube. Obviously, they can be clustered by either color or shape. Now, with the impact of known classes in labeled data, we want to know the cluster result of these unlabeled samples. In the first setting, we consider the known class as red cylinder which is strongly related to red color samples in unlabeled data. While in the second setting, we consider the known class as gray cylinder, which is unrelated to any unlabeled samples in color or shape. In these settings, we can analyze the cluster result from the feature space derived from top eigenvectors of the adjacency matrix. We include more calculation details in the paper. Then we can see that, in setting 1, unlabeled samples will be clustered by colors. While in setting 2, they can be clustered by either color or shape. It suggests that labeled data plays an important role in novel class discovery. Now let me introduce the main theory result. We see that the error of novel class discovery is mainly dependent on the ignorance degree and the knowledge coverage. The ignorance degree means the angle between the ground truth vector and the features learned without any prior knowledge. And the knowledge coverage means the angle between the ignorance space and the feature space of the labeled data. The error of NCD is thus dependent on how much we can reduce the ignorance degree by knowledge coverage from the labeled data. Now let me show the empirical result. We use the ResNet 18 as backbone and evaluate on SAFAR 10 and SAFAR 100 datasets by separating all classes into 50% known and 50% novel. By comparing with competitive methods in the literature, the results suggest that NSEL is also appealing for practical usage. Thank you for your listening. Please check our codebase if you are interested.